This is the Lemon Busters Auto Inspection of a uh, BMW 550i Twin Turbo. Let's begin the inspection at the front bumper. You can see we got a couple of little minor scratches down in this area at the right front corner. And a couple little chips here and there on the front bumper cover. Got a little chip or two on the headlight assemblies, but you can see they're, they're good and solid. They don't move around or anything like that. So you got a couple of more little little chips and nicks. A little stuff you pick up from just, you know, kind of driving around. It's a real clean car overall. Didn't see much with it. Probably the majority of the blemishes are here on the front bumper and they're just all minor chips and some light scratches. They're kind of hard to see right here. Let me see if we can pick those up a little bit. It's just right here in this area, right at the left front corner. See, you also got a little chip on the light there. Real minor stuff. We're going to go on and move into the left front fender. You see the left front fender is real nice and straight. Got some light little scratches right here on the wheel arch. Got a little mark right there in the paint. Like a sap mark or something. Might come out with a little clay bar work. See your rocker cell is real nice and clean as well. Go ahead, we're gonna move into the left pillar area. See it's real clean. No real problem problems. Got like a little scratch right there. As you can see. Go ahead and move back to the left front door. As you can see the trim is all intact and in good shape. Your left front mirror is in good shape as well. No scratches or chips or anything like that to any major extent. Glass is intact, trim rings. Glass is nice in the front window as well. So you see here as we move through the door, it's pretty darn straight. No signs of any dings, dents, or anything like that. Go ahead and move into the left rear door at this point. You can see all your trim is in good shape here. portion of the door here around the handle. See there's very minor minor flaws. Just a little light swirl mark here and there. Maybe a light scratch here and there. Some light chips here and there. It's all very, very light stuff. Just typical normal usage stuff. Moving to the left rear quarter panel here. See the left rear quarter panel is real nice and straight as well. Do have like a little marker chip right here. Go ahead and move into the left into the left corner of the bumper. The tailpipes are a little dirty, but other than that, rear bumper's in real nice shape too. Got a tail light here, nice and solid, both in the deck lid. Just a little mark of dirt. Car hasn't been cleaned. trunk lid here, it's in real nice shape. Tail light, everything like that. Tail pipe I mean. And your tail lights here are nice and solid. Moving into the corner of the bumper here. See it's real nice and clean. We'll go ahead and move into the right quarter panel. Okay, it's nice and clean. Some little scratch and some light little scratches here and there. Nothing to be too concerned about. Be 
steel door is nice and clean. Go ahead and we're going to move into the uh, left rear door. You can see the trim. Also our, our pillar here is in good shape. Trim's real nice. Glass is in good shape. Go ahead and we're going to move into the left rear door here. The car has very distinct body lines to it. You can see there's very little flaws. There's like a little bit of like a sap or a tar, maybe even a little bit of a chip. It feels more like a like it's on the surface there. Once again, probably something that'll come out with a clay bar. See a rocker trim panel there as well. And we'll go on to the left front door here. See your pillar trim is in good shape here. Same with the mirror, no real flaws or anything on it. You can see here it's real straight, real clean. Very, very light flaws here and there, just like a chip here, a chip there. It's practically a brand new car, and it shows that it's practically a brand new car. And we'll head moving in the right front fender now. Real nice, you can see we're gonna look at the windshield. No real major flaws. Got some light scratches and stuff here and there, but that's about it. Just from wiper operation. See our hood here is in nice shape. Do have a little mark right there in the center. Got some like more of that sap again there. A little bit more right there, that's usually a weed. So you got some more of that sap right there, right there. Go ahead and take a look at the roof and the glass here sunroof. You can see it's in good shape. No real damage or anything like that. If you have a little bit more of that sap here, this actually is rubbing off. So it's not really stuck on there or anything like that. It's just a spot here or there. Right, look at the other side of the roof. car is equipped with a power deck lid, so we'll go ahead and actuate that here so you can watch it work. The car's a, this BMW has kind of gone to, it was more of a run flat situation here because they don't have room for the tires and the trunks anymore. So you got your front plate bracket if you choose to run it. Um, a lot of dealers around here choose to leave them off so they don't drill holes in the bumpers. So you got your ski bag opening there and everything like that. You see the owner's manuals right there. You got your flip so fold seats. I'm going to go ahead and pull those now and then we can look at them at the interior portion. Go ahead and close the trunk at this point. At this point we're going to go ahead and move under the hood. As we're wrapping up uh, part one of the Lemon Buster's inspection of a BMW 550.